Hey guys, welcome to the Techno News, episode 31. Really appreciate all the support we've got lately. It does mean a lot. Uh, if you wouldn't mind letting this video play all the way through, just to try and get me viewing hours up a bit. And if you wouldn't mind visiting some of my other videos, it would be very much appreciated. Remember to hit the sub button. I am trying to push for the thousand subs now, um, so any help there would be appreciated. Ring the bell for alerts, hit the thumbs up on the video and leave some feedback or even just your favourite emote will do, just to try and generate some conversation around that. Thank you. Uh, also remember to follow my socials, X and TikTok at Technofish Live, and you can catch me live here most nights from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK time on YouTube Gaming. Thank you. All right, so let's have a look at the news, shall we? Right, first, I don't want to turn this into a bit of a rant but uh, or a review as such. But first bit of news is around Skull and Bones. Um, it's all a bit of a farce, really. So one of the Ubisoft directors decided to come out and say that to try and justify the seventy pound uh, seventy dollar price tag on the game, it was a the first quadruple A title, which is a joke in itself. For one, there's no such thing. And for two, the game is an absolute disgrace. It's a bit of a strange one because it's been in development for so long. It's it's going back nearly a decade now. Um, sure, was around two thousand and thirteen. Um, it started conception as a Black Flag expansion, or a MMO spin-off of Black Flag, um, which was Assassin's Creed way back in the day. But it's just been an absolute mess. There was numerous development teams mentioned in the intro to the beta which launched last week pretty much every part of ubisoft studios was mentioned and that sort of you can see that it has been passed around and there probably hasn't been any communication or they've just scrapped what the other teams have done and started again and it's been going backwards and forwards as i said for the best part of a decade um the graphics themselves don't look like they've been updated since Black Flag. Uh, it looks very grainy, poor in general, to be honest. Um, I did give the game a go um, with an open mind as I could, but it didn't last long. The character creation was pretty minimal in comparison to most of the games that you get now. But I guess for what you see of your actual guy in game it sort of makes sense i don't really know if it's just because we've been spoiled by sea of thieves for so long but this game was just a pretty poor experience in short uh the game started in a massive sea battle um you on your little boat pretty much taking on the entire british fleet uh towards the end of it um but even then the ship to ship combat it was just point and click like there wasn't any feeling to it there was no sort of it didn't really draw you in as such i just felt like i was moving the mouse around clicking at their ships and hitting them basically there was no real sort of sense of danger or no panic trying to get your battery cannons reloaded or anything like that it was all just pretty poor uh once that's over you sort of got picked up stranded um, by a couple of pirates if you want to call them that and they take you to the hub world where you've got to speak to some guy and get orders and you start your career trying to build up your reputation as a pirate this is where it got even worse for me to be honest um you were basically taught to go and find resources so off you went on your little boat tootling around and uh, there was icons appeared on the map like near coastlines for trees and stuff you had to try and gather the wood resources and i figured you would go to each land the ship go on the island cut the trees down come back nope you were literally sat on your boat the entire time but you couldn't even explore your boat you were like literally you just saw the boat um you went near the island you didn't actually go on the island and when you got close you triggered a, a sort of mini game event with the little saw flying backwards and forwards and you had to stop it on the green dot um, and that was pretty much it. Um, 
the first major mission took you to there was an old broken galleon British galleon in the middle of these islands on like shipwrecked and you had to go and try and find the captain and find out what he was doing what he was after and stuff like that so you you go land near this boat you can't get on because there's a bit of wood in the way and you need a crowbar apparently you kind of just smash into it with your boat to break it you've got to go and find this crowbar went around a few islands talking to pirates lying down and the few islands you actually got access to tried to find this crowbar couldn't find it and then when i got back in the boat the woman who was with you says oh look at those look at them and there's like piles of rubbish floating around in the sea so you literally drive over there and pick them up and, and i got a crowbar absolutely pointless um and this trend sort of continued it was there was no real exploration like i said you couldn't even look around your boat the only bit you got to go around was there was a few islands you could there was a few drunken sailors lying about or jumping about maybe one guy you could speak to and then the other part was the main which looked like the main hub which was like a dock where you just ran around the shops buying and selling stuff there was other people running backwards and forwards you couldn't talk to them you couldn't attack them there was no sort of sort of combat nothing uh the only real interaction you got with other pirates was boat to boat combat if you got to the point where you got cannons on your boat um you could actually attack other players but other than that it was pretty pointless so i don't think i'll be buying that trip uh, quadruple a game i don't think so mate absolutely pointless um a game that is doing well though seems to have took off big style is hell divers 2 um this one seems to be doing things right it's getting good praise all around i might have to give it a look um it's a action shooter it looks very much like starship troopers um lots of massive insects coming to kill you and you're just running around with guns trying to kill them all it does look good fun so i might have to give this one a try i'm, I'm sort of wishing i tried this instead of see uh, skull and bones to be honest but never mind these things can't be helped this look quite good from the playstation trailers way back when actually um so i never actually heard of it obviously it's the second one so there will have been a first but i, I don't recall that one so It'll be interesting to see how this one plays and what it's all about. Next up, Disney's invested $1.5 billion in their Epic Games to create an expensive game universe connected to Fortnite. Uh, wherever that entails, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, similarly, Elon Musk has been rumoured to be interested in buying out Disney, but again, that's just rumours and ASA. Can't see it happening, but it'll be interesting for all the franchise i mean it'd be exciting to see what happens with star wars and stuff if that case if that's the case interested to see what happens with the star wars games going forward if epic games get the rights to them or whatever i don't know but um obviously i announced microsoft announced laying off staff uh last week apparently the ftc have been getting involved saying that it's a violation of their terms of the agreement with the activision blizzard situation um microsoft are claiming that the layoffs were already planned it didn't affect the people that were being brought over or whatever but it's all a bit of a sticky situation i'm sure they'll worm their way out of it but it's it seems like the ftc have took a bit of an interest in that to find out what's going on there and similarly with lawsuits and games um there was a bit of a hoo-ha around in-game currencies and apparently take two have announced that the in-game currency is fiction owned by the devs um basically the lawsuit was claiming that if a game shuts down and people still own in-game currency they're technically losing real money but take two have announced that the currency is fiction owned by the devs and it's on your own back if you don't use the currency before the games get shut down nothing to do with them as such which is a bit shit um especially the rear to games getting taken down now all the old uh, 360 and some of the xbox one games even are starting to 
to shut the servers down in a world where games as a live service is becoming more and more revered. It'll be interesting to see what comes of that down the line as well. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, that's about it for this week. As I said, I didn't really want to turn it into a rant of Skull and Bones, but it sort of ended that way. I do apologise. But um, let us know what you think about the game, about any of the points I've brought up. Either in the comments below or come down my live streams and we'll have a discussion about it. Uh, I'd be interested to hear your points of view. And in the meantime, thanks for the support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching.